Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we've got this 240 hertz 1440p monitor from HP Omen. This thing is going to be super sick and I can't wait to try it out. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into the unboxing and see what this bad boy can do. But first, let's give you guys a quick spec rundown because I know this monitor is a little new and I haven't seen a ton of videos on YouTube just yet. So we're going to do a full in-depth unboxing and show you guys what the unboxing experience of this monitor is. Number one, we've got 1440p resolution, which is not very common on a lot of gaming monitors of the this caliper there's basically none of them out there right now next we've got 240 hertz refresh rate which is really good obviously that's like the new craze is really really high refresh rate and 240 hertz is like the staple right now so nice that we can get that higher resolution and high refresh rate all in one monitor that way when you guys go to upgrade your graphics card and processor and all that so you get performance that you can actually see a lot of people were wondering why i didn't want like another 1080p 240 hertz monitor especially at the 27 inch screen size two reasons so one 27 inches 1080p looks pretty ugly and two when you guys buy new pc hardware you want to be able to see performance without necessarily having to upgrade your entire system or your entire setup so an easy way to do that spend a little bit more money on your monitor and get something a little bit better than what your computer can really push right now because it's inevitable at some point you're going to upgrade your computer and you don't want to be every time you buy a new monitor you're buying a new graphics card at the same time i mean you're just going to be wasting a lot of money because at that point unless you're balling out like that that means you're going to skimp on the graphics card and on the monitor when you can really probably push for a little bit more higher in specs had you bought a previous better monitor before so get a monitor that you got some headroom to grow and you're going to see some performance the next time you upgrade your computer that way you're not always feeling like you're dumping out a g every time nvidia comes out with some new graphics cards or amd or whoever whatever your preference is but just remember buy stuff for the future all right back to the rundown so we got 240 hertz 1440p 27 inch monitor with one millisecond response time as well as HDR. HDR is kind of being tossed around right now, so we're gonna see if this is real HDR or not. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how this monitor looks, especially with it being a TM panel. Let's see how sharp those colors are because obviously the new Alienware monitor that we just reviewed is IPS. Those colors are really good. This TN monitor, we'll see how it stacks up. But all right guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this baby right now. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of this Omen 27 240 hertz monitor. It's going to be pretty freaking sweet. The nice part about having a, a wireless and Pro 2, I can use that thing over here on uh, my other setup where I might have just a little bit more space. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's check out and see what exactly is in this thing. Probably not the same because if I need to do that on my desk with my uh, Xbox One X, because that will suck. All right. Well, I guess we can pull all this stuff out first. Let's look just some, uh, some cables and stuff. We got what, power cable, display port, HDMI, which we don't use, and a USB pass-through, which we will use. Power cable. This looks to be the stand here. Some screws. Okay, we might have to screw some stuff in. Ugh. Let's take the. Uh... Okay. I was gonna say, let's take the wrappings off the stand. This doesn't look like it's base amount compatible. So. Uh... But I mean, that just is what it's telling me from the looks of the stand. I don't know if that's 100% uh, true or not yet, but uh, we will see if we can base them on this thing, because that might be a huge con for a lot of people. Oh, so it's like a little headphone holder here. So that's cool. You guys can see that. It just got a little logo for headphones right there, but obviously you can just set your headphones there. So that is pretty cool. Let's bring the monitor up. Okay, so we got the Omen branding on the back. Those are some sticky stickers. 
nice and shiny even though you'll never see it so you got two usb ports the pass through the power hdmi and display port i wonder if this is hdmi 2.0 it doesn't say on the box if it's a uh, hdmi 2.0 so that is interesting we'll check on that we'll see but since it's a 240 hertz monitor i really hope that it's hdmi 2.0 I mean, how else are you going to use this thing at 240 hertz with an HDMI cable? Looks like you got a little bit of cable management back here. I hope that this thing is sturdy. It's interesting how that uh, looks like it works. Okay, HP, trusting you. And they didn't let us down, bucko. Okay, height adjustable, no swivel, tilt though, so tilt and height adjustable. This part obviously is, uh, there's, there's nothing on it to swivel. I mean, the base isn't necessarily like the most planted, I would say. Like it feels sturdy, like it's not gonna tip over cause it's not that big, but it slides around just a little bit. But I mean, you're not really gonna be pushing your monitor around all the time. So you got display port, HDMI to USB, DCI, P3 at 90%, Omen command center, ambient lighting. Oh, that's cool. High adjustable quad HD, one millisecond response time, and a 240 hertz refresh rate. So we got that. Since we're doing an unboxing, we might as well, uh, should we leave the sticker? No, let's go ahead and peel it off. We're doing an unboxing. We gotta peel off the sticker. Let's go ahead and hook this baby up. Go ahead and hook up our MM710 to this thing. And we're gonna bring it alive, maybe play a couple games. Give you our first impressions. And then just because RGB everything might as well connect the razor mouse mat. Ooh, it's alive. Omen by HP. Oh dang. Yeah, Windows at 1440p looks so much better. Is it already set at 240? All right, so how do I use the on-screen display on this thing? Okay, so here's the buttons. Let's see here. So adaptive sync on response time. Let's leave it at level two frame rate. That probably just shows the frame rate. Crosshair, ambient lighting. I yeah, said it's a random color because RGB everything. Fade, brightness, max. So it's already maxed out. I can say this, I don't necessarily love these buttons on the back, but I'm sure you're just gonna have to get used to them. Oh, I see why this monitor might be freaking $600 because it has local dimming. Well, that's cool. Colors, you got standard, gaming, movie, warm, cool. HP Enhanced Plus. Gaming, obviously, is the brightest one. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you guys my personal setup for um, when I play games, what do I use? So, like, do I use G-Sync Enable? Uh, we're going to test it out with G-Sync compatibility, so we're going to check that box right there. And then we've got the Omen 27 obviously as our uh, our gaming monitor so we're gonna hit apply let it do its thing then we're gonna go to change our resolution just to make sure we're at the 240 hertz mark so obviously it's already set to 240 hertz we don't really have to do anything just make sure it's at uh 2560 by 1440 for our resolution we'll do that and then we go to manage 3d settings in nvidia control panel so minor technology g-sync compatible opengl rendering just pick your uh, gpu take it off auto select if you want a little bit better performance prefer maximum performance as far as the power management preferred refresh rate highest available of course and then this one right here low latency mode i always put it on ultra and um, yeah just to make sure that i'm getting the best performance in game so those are just my personal settings on uh, what i play with and uh, yeah let's go ahead and hop into some apex legends so so far really like this monitor like i might have to make this my new name like the colors are like nice and vibrant like you could tell i don't even think i have windows hdr turned on but like the brightness on this monitor is just so good and the contrast the contrast not contrast <laughs> is just so good first impressions of this thing this thing is incredible holy crap 
I really didn't expect it to be this guy. I thought there was gonna be like some kind of like major drawback or something, but dude, I kid you not, and I just might have to cut. This might be my new main. You can definitely feel this is like 100% true. One millisecond response time. It's a TN panel, but like the quality of like the color, the sharpness, I would say is nearly IPS quality, nearly. Not exactly. Still gonna do a full review, that's for sure. But I can definitely tell like this is a little bit brighter than that Alienware monitor that we tested out the 27 inch. If I were you looking at a 27 inch monitor, 1440p should be the desired resolution. Just Windows as a whole just looks so much better. The scaling looks a lot more proper. In game, as long as you have like some pretty up-to-date hardware, 1440p is really not the hardest thing to drive in the world. Like I was playing Apex and you guys can see, I'll throw some gameplay up on the screen right now. I was still hitting really high FPS with a 3700X and an RTX 2080. Like I said, these graphics cards are getting really good and they're only gonna get even better. So it's only a matter of time until next year, Nvidia is gonna come out with some new stuff, a new line of RTX cards, and they're probably going to be capable of maxing out a lot of games at 240 hertz at 1440p. It really just depends on what you play and what settings you play at. But the nice part about having a monitor that's better than your current configuration, you can always turn your settings down. But we got all your settings on ultra and you're maxing out your 120 hertz 1080p monitor. Well, at that point, for you to see any real performance gains, you gotta buy a new monitor because even if you upgrade your graphics card, you've already hit your bottleneck. So get a monitor that is better than your current setup so that next time you upgrade your parts, you do see a realistic difference in your performance that you're gonna notice when you're playing games and your day-to-day -day usage. So that is just my personal recommendation. You don't have to follow what I say, but um, yeah, this is a really good uh, purchase. This isn't gonna be my main monitor, but uh, yeah, I'm heavily considering getting this for myself. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing video and these brief uh, initial thoughts. Like I said, the color reproduction and the brightness on this monitor is really freaking good. And I'm looking at this one right now and my Dell ultra wide over there, and it doesn't look too far off. I'm sure the viewing angles, of course, are not nearly as good, but looking at it dead on it looks pretty good drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new let me know what you guys want to hear from me um in terms of like what you specifically want in the full review so that i can uh dig a little bit deeper into this monitor and see uh what you guys are interested in and i will uh give you guys my 100 percent recommendation on this thing comment below what you guys want to see from me in the full review and what you want to hear about specifically pertaining to this monitor this thing is a beast and i'm sure i'm gonna have a lot to cover um the design is definitely pretty cool too it's a big change from what i'm used to looking at a lot of dell and alienware stuff so that's it for today and i will talk to you guys in the next video Win.